Hey there, hikers, Adam here. And these are my five favorite elective trails on the terrifying 25. Ah! If you're new to hiking in New Hampshire, the terrifying 25 is one of the newer hiking lists created by Trish, Alex, and Sage Hare for tackling the White Mountains of New Hampshire. The list specifically focuses on White Mountain hiking trails that have slides, rock scrambles, boulder caves, or even rickety ladders. Basically anything to terrify you while hiking. The list includes 20 required trails and then five elective trails from a greater list of 14 trails for a total of 34 possible hikes. Now 14 elective trails may seem daunting to choose from and trust me, they are not all created equally. So today I'm gonna recommend my five personal favorite terrifying 25 elective trails to help you complete your list. We're starting off the list of my favorite elective trails with the Algonquin Trail. Located on Sandwich Dome and near Sandwich, New Hampshire in the White Mountain National Forest. The trail you'll follow is an out and back trail that is around 8 miles total. Additionally, the summit of Sandwich Dome is 3,992 feet tall and is also a summit on the 52 with a view hiking list. Now this is a trail that many of you may not have been expecting to make my favorite list and I don't think it's that popular a trail in general. As I could tell from the day I hiked it where there's so many freaking and cobwebs and spider webs draped across the trail that I just kept smashing my face into over and over and over again as I was hiking up that trail. But in spite of those cobwebs, I found this trail super fun. The terrifying element here is the big rock scramble that is around 25 to 30 feet of light rock climbing, which I found super, super fun, yet extremely challenging in just the right way, especially on the way down the mountain. However, I found the true highlight of the trail that really made it earn its spot here on my favorite list was all the great and amazing views that you get between the rock scramble and the ridge line. The trail just opens up and you walk along some areas that have some truly spectacular open views. And I was totally not expecting them with this trail and they were just so pleasant to take in and really made this quite a memorable trail for me. And I was super happy to have those views and to get to look forward to them again on the way down because the summit of this mountain is a little bit wooded and lacking in views itself. So in summary, it's how much fun and challenging that technical rock scramble was during the terrifying portion and then how beautiful and scenic those amazing views were when you get just past the rock scramble that earned this trail its spot here as one of my favorites on the elective terrifying 25 list. For the second hike we have the Percy Peaks Trail located on the Percy Peaks and near Stark New Hampshire in the Great North Woods. The trail you'll follow is an out and back trail that is around four and a half miles total. Additionally the summit of North Percy Peak is 3,400 415 feet tall and is also a summit on the 52 with the view hiking list. If you know me well, you knew that this trail would be making my favorite list. I think these pair of mountains are the single mountains that I have climbed the most in my lifetime. Almost 10 freaking times just related to this YouTube channel. That's how you know I love them so much. Now this would be because A, I think the trails are almost the perfect length for a day hike at four and a half miles. Not too long and not too short. And B, the fact that you get to summit two people peaks for the price of one right next to each other. I don't know of any other peaks in New England where you can do that so easily and be given such great views of the neighboring peak. And of course see those jaw dropping views you get of the northern White Mountains and Presidential Range during that rock scramble to the summit of North Percy Peak. I could just sit there taking in that view for hours. I love how the South Percy Peak sits perfectly framed right in front of that view as well. Also part of the fun of this trail is the fun rock rock scrambling you get to do on the exposed rock surfaces as you make your way up to the North Percy Peak. But also remember, while those rock scrambles are fun, they are basically just one big rock slab. As such, there are not a lot of handholds or other features to grip onto, so you may want to have some nice grippy shoes in order to make those ledges a little bit easier to tackle. In summary, it was the absolutely amazing jaw-dropping views you get of the presidential range from the summit of these mountains, as well as the fact that you get to climb two mountains for the price of one. The fun 
fun rock scrambles you get to tackle and how nice the distance of this trail is. That made it an easy inclusion as one of my favorite trails on the elective terrifying 25 list. For the third hike, we have the High Cannon Trail, located on Cannon Mountain and near Franconian Notch in the White Mountain National Forest. The trail you'll follow is a loop trail that is around six miles total. Additionally, the summit of Cannon Mountain is 4,100 feet tall and is also a summit on the New Hampshire 48 4,000 footer hiking list. I'm not sure even where to start with this trail since there were so many things that I liked about it. I guess I should just start with the terrifying ladder. It just gives you such a thrill as you ascend those rungs and turn and look behind you to one of the first great views down into Franconian Notch. The trickiest part of the ladder, I think, is the transfer from the ladder to the rock ledge right at the top of the ladder, but otherwise it thankfully is not that terrible. Because of the small gap between the ladder and the side of the mountain, you never really feel too high up and it shouldn't get all that scary. Another reason to love this trail is that it brings you up to the summit of Cannon Mountain that has one of the most dramatic views in all of the White Mountains. It's such a cool feeling being able to look out across Franconia Notch and see the Franconia Ridge rising across from you. There is even a cool radio tower platform you can climb up to get even higher views right on the summit of Cannon Mountain. And those views may even include glimpses of Mount Washington on a clear day. Those views are simply hard to beat and are basically 360 degrees of awesomeness. And then of course, nearby the High Cannon Trail, you can easily add on a visit to the Lonesome Lake, one of my personal favorite spots in all of the White Mountains. I just can't get enough of the enjoyable trail that takes you around the entire perimeter of that alpine lonesome lake. The trail gives you great views of Cannon Mountain and the Franconia Ridge across the water that is just so picturesque. Just be careful walking along those planks and don't fall in. So in summary, it was because of how fun and thrilling that terrifying ladder was, the amazing Franconia Notch summit views, and the pleasant addition of the Lonesome Link that earned the High Cannon Trail its spot amongst my favorite elective terrifying 25 trails. For the fourth hike, we have the Blueberry Ledge Trail located on Mount Whiteface and near Sandwich, New Hampshire in the White Mountain National Forest. The trail you'll follow is an out and back trail that is around eight miles total. Additionally, the summit of Mount Whiteface is 4,020 feet tall and is also a summit on the New Hampshire 48 4,000 footer hiking list. I bet some of my longtime viewers are surprised that this trail made my list of favorites. Adam, isn't that the trail that was so tough you actually failed it on your first attempt? Yes, this totally is, and I'd still not recommend hiking this trail in the winter. But oh my gosh, it was just so much fun when I came back again during the summer. The aforementioned blueberry ledges offer quite a great deal of scrambling. That is the perfect combination of challenging, thrilling, scary, and fun all wrapped into one. I was just grinning from ear to ear the entire time. There are sections where there are steep climbs, others where there are precarious ledge shimmies, and some viewpoints with some truly scary cliff drop-offs. Don't get too close. <laughs> I especially liked all of the butt sliding I got to do on the way back down the ledges. A totally different kind of high-speed terrifyingness. Additionally, because the blueberry ledges are so rocky, there is a significant break in the trees during this part of the hike near the summit, offering some amazing views of the Southern White Mountains. I just love seeing Mount Chikorwa rising up beside me the entire time I was scrambling, and on a clear day from certain vantage points, you can even spot Squam Lake. So in summary, it's a combination of the many amazing views that you get from the top of the Blueberry Ledges Trail near the summit of Mount Whiteface, but mostly due to the many amazing, thrilling, scary, and awesome rock scrambles that you do all over those blueberry ledges near the summit of Mount Whiteface that easily earn this trail its spot here as one of my favorites on the terrifying 25 elective list. Just be prepared though because this one will be the most challenging one yet. Finally, for my favorite elective trail, we have the Beaver Brook Trail, located on Mount Musalake and near North Woodstock, New Hampshire in the White Mountain National Forest. The trail you'll follow is an out and back trail that is around six and a half miles total. Additionally, the summit of Mount Musalake is 4,802 feet tall and is also a summit on the New Hampshire 48 4,000 footer hiking list. I have to say that this trail was freaking tough. One of the single steepest trails that I've ever climbed. Over 1,700 feet of elevation gain in less than one mile of trail. Luckily though, the trail combined being scary, tough, and challenging with being extremely scenic, interesting, and not being a total pain in the ass. While you are making your ascent up the steepest part of the trail, you're rewarded with numerous scenic waterfalls right next to the trail in 
the Beaver Brook. This makes the trail much more interesting than it otherwise would be and offers numerous photo opportunities and great places to sit and relax to break up your crazy tough ascent. Additionally, there are some extremely fun features to tackle on the steep climb that give the trail its special terrifying edge. This would include several wooden staircases mounted to the rocks and a few instances with iron handholds. These features make for rather technical but extremely fun obstacles along your way up and they were all personal highlights of mine. Another aspect that I greatly enjoyed was that the ridge line following the main steep ascent was rather short and tame. This offered a much needed break and bit of relaxation after overcoming such a great challenge. I just preferred it so much more than many of the other annoying up and down rough and muddy ridge lines that I've encountered on other trails in the White Mountains. And then lastly, the actual summit of Mount Musalaka was one of my absolute favorites that I've encountered among the New Hampshire 4,000 footers. Not only does it have a spectacular 360 degree view of the surrounding area, but I also just thought it was rather funny and unique that the whole summit looked like a rolling hill versus the rock piles of the typical New Hampshire 4,000 footer. So in summary, it's the fun, challenging climb next to the cool Beaver Brook waterfalls and the amazing views that you get from the summit of Mount Musilaka combined with a ridgeline that wasn't so annoying easily makes this trail my favorite of the elective terrifying 25 list. But hey, that's just my opinion. Now go get hiking. Yeah.